All right, Aries, we just gonna jump straight into your reading. I had to give me some tea, y'all. Give me a little intermission in. But we gonna go ahead and get started, y'all. No long intro. Let's just do this. For your next 48. Hey. Some of y'all could have just put y'all Christmas tree up. And y'all got some cute little decorations on y'all tree. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, y'all focused on the future in the next 48 hours. You like more so trying to figure out how you can get the shit you want out of life. Like, what do I need to change in order for me to get this? Some of y'all could be making up a, like a business plan or something. Like, what do I need to do? I'm hearing a new saving routine. A routine to help you save money. What do I need to do to help me get to $10,000 in 60 days or 30 days? Some of y'all are trying to save more and like manifest good things into your life. Why is that there? Some of y'all may feel like you made a bad like you made some some decisions that you didn't see was that you didn't feel was very wise you may feel like you um you held on to a lot of things that really didn't have meaning to you anymore like this could be old clothing items old shoes old stuff it's just a lot of shit that you feel you should have got rid of or just disconnected yourself from in order for you to move forward and you didn't you having a hard time doing that Hmm. Why is that there? Somebody could be asking you, do you have something of theirs too? Like, did they leave something at your house? Or they like, uh, I'm not trying to really bother you, but did I leave this over your house when the last time I was there? Or, you know, what? But this person really trying to lure you in because they really want to fuck with you. They kind of trying to give you some type of excuse or have some type of reason to talk to you. Because they feel like you won't meet up with them or kick it with them. Some of y'all, this person feel like you won't go to no social gatherings if they going to be there. Some of y'all, you and this person may be avoiding each other. You like shit, if they, if they going to be there, I can't go. Why is that there? Some of y'all are you confused on this person's actions towards you. Somebody is leading with emotions now. They not trying to be funny. It's like they finally deciding to show you how they really feel about you. They not trying to figure out a way for you to help them. They not trying to figure out how to get over on you. This person is literally trying to figure out a, a better way to talk to you. And tell you how they really feel. This could be somebody you're not with no more. This person coming towards you to let you know that they serious. They don't want to um, argue with you. They don't want to fight with you. They actually trying to stop themselves from caring about you. But they can't help it. They not brave enough to really tell you how they feel. But they know they shouldn't make you wait on them either. Yeah. They just feel like they going to get some bad luck if they come towards you. They feel like maybe you don't want to connect with them.
some of y'all are trying not to think in the next 72 hours you kind of like even though you feel like things are good for you right now or things are going the way that you see them going some of y'all are still stressed out and just going through some type of sadness for some of y'all it could be in regards to your work situation You could be feeling like nobody is hiring or nobody is like really paying enough. For some of y'all, you feel like you don't want to really have to take somebody to court, but you feel like some of y'all don't want to have to really try to, you like, I don't want to have to hurt your pockets because I see that you're a good person and I see you stressed out and working on yourself. But you stressed out too. Some of y'all are stressed out too, though. You feel like somebody's not concerned about the change that you just made in your life. Some of y'all could have just moved or got a new place. And you feel like you want this person to be happy for you. But you feel like they're not concerned about you and your well-being. Some of y'all are good, though. You have expectations. You want to connect with somebody who, who is a good person towards you. You want to connect with somebody who makes you feel good and honors and respects you. A lot of y'all are tired of being stressed out, but you're trying your hardest to be mature when it comes to a situation. Some of y'all do have money coming in, though. A lot of money. A lump sum, uh, it'll clear your debt out for a second. Could be a direct deposit. Tell me more next 48 for Pisces. I mean, Aries. I'm sorry. Some of y'all may be connecting with a Pisces. Some of y'all feel like you don't want to deal with somebody or be connected to somebody because you may feel like they used you for finances. And now this person is kind of like Trying to figure out a creative way to speak to you or talk to you. For others of y'all, you may feel like you worked so hard for a job and now you're giving up on it. Because you feel like the company didn't really appreciate you or they used you or took all your money from you. It's, the company did something shady to you. Some of y'all talk bad to your manager or supervisor. Pentacles here. You have a lot of memories with somebody, and your intuition is telling you to take it slow. But some of y'all feel like if this person is good. They don't mind you being defeated. Yeah, some of y'all feel like you don't want to work with this person or you don't want to deal with this person because when things are going good for this person or when they feel like they looking good or when they feel like they on top, they no longer want to be, they no longer want to deal with you or put their time and energy into you. And you looking at them like, well, damn. I was there for you this whole time and you really just act like I wasn't.
Some of y'all don't want to work with somebody. You don't want to work with somebody. You don't want to deal with somebody. But y'all trying to focus on your family. You want your family back. Some of y'all are getting good karma and a lot of things that was unfair to you getting ready to be balanced out. Yeah. Y'all got some good shit coming into y'all life, but you do have people trying to put you in drama. It could be somebody baby mama or it could be another baby mama that's teaming up against you. Somebody's waiting on you to respond or waiting on you to say something about a relationship that you in. Somebody could be trying to figure out if you um in a relationship with somebody else. Some of y'all feel like this person wants sex from you. And that's why you're choosing to keep your guard up with this person. But they getting angry with you because they want they actually want to be with you. It's not about the sex. They actually just want to be in a relationship with you. So if they getting angry and tripping and shit with you, this is why they want another opportunity. They just trying to figure out if you let everything that they... This person may have did some things to you or said some things to you. They just want to distract you first and see if you let go of everything that they done or said to you. The truth is, some of y'all feel like y'all invested in something that you thought would make you happy and be everything that you ever wanted. But looking back on it, you're like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have invested in this situation at all. You had a hard time making a decision. Some of y'all, you had a hard time making a decision between two people. You didn't know who to leave out in the cold or who to fuck with or who to be with. Some of y'all was trying to avoid having to make a choice. So you just decided not to be with nobody. But that kind of hurt you because you're like, damn, now I'm the one that's feeling um, trapped in my head. Now I'm the one that's feeling anxious or can't sleep and shit like that. You, you probably looking at somebody's social media that you still love. Now you feel like this person won't give you a second chance. Okay. Why would I pick up all of this shit? Anyway, some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces or Sagittarius could be coming towards you. A Scorpio. Uh, another Aries. A Gemini. A Libra. Leo. Or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. How do you feel about this person that's coming towards you? Why is that there? Some of y'all, you feel like it's time for you to show this person off. Because you can't really stay away from this person. You can't keep your hands off this person. How do they feel about you? I need you right now. Some of y'all this to be a twin flame connection. This person is in regret for something that they did or said. They feel like they need you right now. And they really longing for you. They missing you. Some of y'all this person is missing your body. That's what I got for y'all Aries. Thank you so much for watching y'all. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Also, y'all, tell a friend of a friend. New Kid on the Block Tarot. Did y'all read it today, y'all? Ha ha. <laughs> nah, for real though. Bye, y'all.